And we're gonna blow it on dead people tchotchkes. Pikachu has had a lot of problems with its butthole. I feel like my sun activities, even though I have remained pasty white, I now am like probably a shade or two darker than my ghost foundation. <laughs> Cause girl, I don't know if this matches <laughs> at all, but let's be honest, I really don't think I ever matched my skin tone because every time I get a new foundation, I'm just like, this seems like the one and they're always different colors. And I just make it work, designers. But this morning we have places to go looking pasty as and that place is to the yard snails. I shook down Stevie for some cash this morning. 10 whole doll hairs because who carries paper money anymore? I never have physical money just lying around. It's so crazy to me. But I hit up Stevie's emergency fund in his wallet. <laughs> and we're gonna blow it on dead people tchotchkes. Well, I don't know if this person died. They probably just don't want their stuff. It, we're not going estate sailing. It's just regular yard sale, so. That is a shape. We are not doing well. Ever since getting my hair done by a professional, I have fallen off of like doing it. I've fallen off of making it look nice. My go-to hairstyle as of late has been like just this loop thing, like not even committing to a bun, just loop-de-loop -loop and pull, you know, like, like not pulling through a low colonial ponytail all the way and just like leaving some sprigs out. So it's just a big loop with sprigs out. Oh, I hate what that bang did. Gross. I don't know what it is, but even the thought of effort and appearance is rough. So not really a decent tchotchke in sight, honestly. But I did get a couple of useful things. First and foremost, this big portfolio case. When I was in art school, I got the paper version of this, which has since, as many of you would have guessed, been torn apart because it's made out of paper. But I did not get this because these fresh in the wild are probably like $35, $40. $4 for this, brand new, still has the tag. And this will be easier way to store art stuff. And then in the same category of arts and crafts, got this new bag of polyfill for 50 cents. I don't know how much that stuff is new, maybe like seven to $10. Uh, I just know that it was quite a bit more than 50 cents. So I snatched it up. But right now it's nearing on one o'clock in the afternoon. I think we're gonna work on the chicken coop for a while. Eventually this will be done. It's getting close. Except for it seems like the more we do, the further we get along, the more things go wrong with the things that we already did. <laughs> So we have to like backtrack and keep fixing other things. I don't know, but we're close. So I'd say like a good 85% done with that project. So within the next day or two should be fully done. Don't know, but cue that montage.
It's baby chick day and I'm so excited. We're heading to the post office now, bright and early in the morning. That's why I look like I just rolled out of bed because I did. The post office isn't even open yet, but we have to go to some side door and knock real loud and get our baby chickens. The camera got really blurry here, but I'm basically just taking them out of the box one by one and dipping their beak in water so that they know what water is. It's a thing. It's been a couple days since getting the baby cheeps. My main focus has basically just been keeping them alive. If you didn't know, baby chicks are basically like hamsters. Like they don't just die in normal ways. They die in really horrific, scarring ways. And they're made of tissue paper. We did a ton of research before getting them. Like you probably should before getting any animal. But this one lady in particular really scared me. <laughs> about all of the things that could potentially happen to them. But I'm happy to say we got 15 shipped and still have 15. So things are going well. Haven't accidentally disemboweled one yet. That's something that can happen. Like you have to check them every day for something called pasty butt because they poop and then sometimes glue their vent shut and you occasionally have to clean it off. But you have to be super gentle and also you have to watch out for some of them have an umbilical cord, which looks like poop and you can't like scrape that off or you can accidentally like disembowel them which is horrific but also like there's marbles in their drinking water because they can drown themselves off of this much water what else oh like they if you introduce them to their bedding too early they can like eat too much of it because they don't know the difference between the bedding and the food and basically explode if you hold them too tightly when you handle them because they don't have a diaphragm they can suffocate there's just like all of these different things that <laughs> I have been watching out for. But other than the anxiety of killing a living creature in a very horrific way, everything's been going well. Like they're very cute. I'm pretty sure they love me, at least some of them. They're not scared to like be picked up and stuff. Uh, we got buff Orpingtons, which is supposed to be like, someone called them like the golden retrievers of the chicken world. They just like people, they like to be sociable. And that's what we got ch the chickens for, like pets that give you eggs. But right now what we're gonna do is Go ahead and clean up their area and do a butt check. Let me check your butthole. Pikachu, you're clear. Good job. Pikachu has had a lot of problems with its butthole. But for like the past year or so, I have had this like issue where if I don't vlog for multiple hours or at least like a good chunk of the day, I don't use that footage. Like I was just driving over to the grocery store thinking to myself like, oh, that last bit I filmed yesterday about, you know, the baby chicks. I can't use that because I only filmed for like 15 minutes. Why? <laughs> it makes no sense. If I could just express to you all of the like little bits that I film that just like end up not used, like I'll just like not put out a video if I don't film a good chunk of the day. Like what is wrong with my brain? What's wrong with my brain? 
I'm going to force myself to get over that because that's just weird. Why does that matter? Um, it's like some weird like continuity issue in my brain that kills me. <sighs> Anyways, like I said, I'm sitting outside the grocery store. I'm about to pop in there and get some supplies for lunch. I found this cucumber salad recipe on Instagram, I think. And after making it and sitting down and tasting it, and I was like, hmm, that's okay, but it's not great. I like revisited the recipe and I forgot like a whole section of it. <laughs> so I can't give it an honest review. But despite me forgetting the minced ginger and minced garlic, two very flavorful components, it's pretty good. I haven't lately been in the mood to cook and I think that's reflective in my ability to follow a recipe or my inability to, I should say. I'm eating in my office because there is no <laughs> surface area available in the kitchen. I've lost the kitchen to my hobbies. There's a giant 3000 piece SpongeBob puzzle that me and Steven are working on on the kitchen island, as well as my seedling operation has encompassed the whole dining room area. And we just had like that little wee table where we would eat dinner. Not no more. And then we got chickens in the living room. I'll need to find a solution for the plants next year that is not <laughs> the main living space because that whole thing is a little bit just in the way. However, better solutions are not this year's problem. It's like a next season type deal. This year's deal is just to start and be a little bit successful at something. Home study, you know, like grow one tomato. I guess that's where I'll stop this one. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.